Hello, my name is Ron with Fuqua and I'm here to do a quick training on how to add the message notes to the back end of your app uh, for services. Everybody's going to have the same simple login. It's going to be your campus.victorylife.media uh, forward slash WP login dot PHP. Um, if it's a uh, campus with two words like Broken Bow here, it's all one word, no spaces, no capitals. Once you're at this URL for your campus, so Sherman.VictoryLive, Hugo.VictoryLive, um, once you're at the login for your campus, you will log in using, there's an admin account for each campus. So like Broken Bow here it would be Broken Bow Admin. And then the password would have already been set up. If you do not have your password or can't remember it, there's a lost your password functionality down here at the bottom. You will need access to your campus uh, Victory Life email, so brokenbow at victorylifechurch.com. You need to be you need to have access to that email in, uh, box inbox in order to reset your password. Um, if you're having any issues with logins, please reach out to me. I can reset your password for you if you can't do it uh, yourself using this functionality. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account my master account here and when you log in you're not going to see all this stuff here on the side it's I've got a lot more than you will so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to what you will see so I'm going to go over to the broken bow admin and switch to it and so when you log in you have a lot fewer options here on the left and these are just the types of content that you can um, manage uh, for the back end of your app um, there's multiple things. If you wanted to have a campus blog, that's this post functionality. If you wanted to add your campus uh, specific events, that's this event functionality. If you record your messages in audio format, you could actually have it here to have a uh, podcast that goes into the back end of the app. But we're going to focus today on message notes. If any of these others um, uh, interest you, please reach out to me and I'll get a training for you. But we're going to focus, like I said, here on the message notes. So I'm going to click on message notes, and you will be presented with a screen that will show you all the message notes that you've already created. Um, you can actually go in as the admin and edit a set of notes. Let's say you wanted to update text or anything like that. You're able to come in here and make changes, and then you would hit update here over on the side. Um, but we're going to focus on adding a new, and there's two places to do that. You have a button up here as well as a, a link over here to add new. So I'm going to click on add new. And you're going to need three things. Uh, the message title, the notes that will be going in here, as well as the date that they're going to be preached. So let's see. Uh, let's say we're doing uh, Jesus over everything. Let's say it's part three. Part three. And I don't have part three's notes, but I do have an old set of notes that I'm going to open up and copy everything. Come in here, I'm going to paste it. And then I would just go in here and make sure it looks good. Um, this is basically a, a kind of like a word editor, like Microsoft Word. You just go in and uh, oh, no. uh, make sure the spacing looks good. Um, it's pretty good at bringing over. Um, bolded items and bullet lists from Microsoft Word. Um, the only the biggest issue is sometimes the spacing is off like this. Uh, why isn't that? There we go. Um, so yeah, you would just come in here uh, make sure things look good, the spacing's good. Um, if you're creating your own sermon notes, you can literally come in here and just start typing from scratch like you would be in Microsoft Word. But let's say I was happy with this, it looks good. Then you come down here and let's say it's being preached um, Sunday the 18th. Then I would just go over here and hit publish. And now it's ready it'll probably show up in about 15 to max 30 minutes in your app 
there is a little bit of a delay. So if you're doing this, I would make sure to do it somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour before service just to ensure that it's populated into your app. Um, if this is your first time doing message notes and you haven't been doing it before, it, the message notes function functionality has probably not been enabled on your app. So you would need to get with me and say, hey, I'm starting to use the message notes functionality. Would you make sure it's live on our app? And I will just have to go in and make that functionality live so that anything that you add here will start showing up. Um, what they will see, I'm going to actually log or switch back to my account to show you um, what they're going to see on the app. So if we go into pages, I can go to the message notes page. I'm going to view it in a new tab. And this is the page. Let me show you what it's going to look like in a mobile phone because that's where most people are going to be seeing this. But once they go click on uh, campus message notes in the app, it'll go to this page here. Um, and they'll see, see this is what we just added while we were uh, during this thing. This is the previous one that was there. If they click on view notes, they'll see the title, the date of the message. Uh, if they wanted to open up the Bible um, to follow along with some verses, they click Bible here and it will open up uh, Bible.com and they can just, you know, go to wherever is being taught. You know, however, I mean, it's Bible.com. Um, and then there's the notes, everything that they got. All right. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out. If you need help logging into the back end of your campus app uh, content website, please reach out to me. Um, and if you are, like I said, uh, if this is your first time starting to do message notes, also let me know so that I can add, uh, enable the functionality on the app for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye.